of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand, you give me faith and I will put my hope in you alone, in you alone. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. So let's um, let's have um, time to talk about God's words. Okay, before we start today's story, let me ask you a question. Do you think how many gods in the world? How many gods? How many? Eighty-four gods? One hundred gods? One thousand? <laughs> right? Yeah. Good. Only? Only one. one God, yeah, God's only God. one true God. So, we should remember that and believe that there is only one true God who alone deserves our worship. Okay? So, kids, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you coming here? Worship. Worship. Right. So it's time to worship God. So you must do your best. Okay? Let's focus on the God. Can you do that? Just only six minutes, six, seven minutes, okay? Okay, throughout the Bible, God shows us that He is in control and, and is the only real God. So God. God had shown King Ahab, I told you, and all the people at Mount Carmel that he was the only one true God by sending fire from the heaven and then and did a long drought with a great rain. So following God's great display of power at Mount Carmel, Elijah, prophet Elijah, fled for his life and traveled to Mount Horeb where he encountered God in a soft voice, soft whisper. Yes, we talk about this 
Yes, we talked about this last week. So when we are in trouble, we need to find God first and listen to Him to know what He wants us to do. It is the first step. And I told you, we need to focus on Him to hear His voice. And I also told you, we need a quiet place. Because the quiet place is the best to have conversation with God. Okay? So find a place to talk with God in your house or in your field, in your backyard or anywhere. Okay? God told the prophet Elijah to find a man named Elisha. So do you think who is Elijah? Uh, who looks who looks older? The red one. The red one. The red one with the stick. Yes, this. Yes. So here's Elijah and Elisha. Okay? So Elisha would be a prophet to Israel after Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. So he found Elisha and Elisha fo followed Elijah and served him. And finally, Elijah's ministry came to the end. And God took him to heaven in an unusual way. So let's see what happened to them. Elijah and Elisha traveled to Gilgal. Gilgal is a city's name. Gilgal to Bethel. Okay? So God ordered that. So at Gilgal, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Bethel. So, but Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Bethel. At Bethel, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Jericho. Jericho. But Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you again. So they went together to Jericho. At Jericho, Elijah said again, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to the Jordan River. But Elisha said, As long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to the Jordan River. Yeah, Elijah followed Elijah again and again. So a crowd of prophets watched Elijah. Can you see the crowd of prophets behind them? Right? And Elijah, and they, they stood by the river. So Elijah rolled up his cloak and hit the water with it. Elijah rolled up cloak yes cloak and then hit the water the river parted and they cross to the other side in Elijah final moments he asked to Elisha is there anything I can do for you before I go so Elisha said I want a double portion of the spirit that you have so Elijah said, if you see me go, you will have it. Suddenly, a chariot of fire with a horse of fire appeared and drove between them. Right. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Yes, God took him. So Elijah watched uh, Elijah. Elisha watched that Elijah went away. Then he picked up Elijah's cloak and went back to the river. Why did he rip his cloak back? Uh -huh. uh, because he picked up Elijah's cloak. And then he hit the water again with Elijah's cloak. So why did and, he tore it? Hmm? Uh, because so when in Israel's history, people 
uh, sometimes toward the close when he, he felt, uh, they feel, felt a sad, sad moment. Yes, Eli is gone. Eli is gone. So Do you understand? Did. So when when King uh, when King David tore his uh, clothes when his son died, like that, so Israel people tore the, his clothes. Do you understand? Okay. So he hit the water and it parted for him to cross to the other side, just as it had for Elijah. So the crowd of prophets was there watching and. They saw that the spirit that was with Eliza was now with Elijah. So the prophet searched for Eliza, but they could not find him since God had taken him up to the heaven. So can you see that? So other prophets fall down to Elijah because they know God with Elisha now. Do you understand? So children. So today's, today's lesson is, if we want to be like someone, we always see what that person does and try to imitate him, right? Am I right? Yeah? So for example, if TV, TV stars like um, BTS, do you like BTS? Yeah. No? Who? No. Who? Oh yeah, Kate, no. like, Kate and Joy like, so who do you like? No one? <laughs> anyway, so if TV stars so we like wears uh, any pretty shoes, we wish to buy the same one, right? To imitate them, right? So Elijah really wanted to be like Elijah, so he never left him, and he wanted to have what Elijah had. So Elisha asked a double portion of the spirit. Why? Because he knew the reason how Elijah could be could do God's great work. Yes, because God's spirit with was with Elijah. So after Holy Spirit was with Elisha, as he asked, Elisha could be a great prophet like Elijah was. Do you understand? So. Who do we have to be like? Your parents? Your teacher? Your someone? Yeah! We have a great teacher and great mother. Who is that? My mom. Your mom? Oh yeah. Who is greater? God. God! Jesus! Right! So we should read the Bible and listen to the words until we die to know who Jesus is, what Jesus said, and what Jesus did. So when we know about him well, we can yeah, try to follow him to be like. Do you understand? Yes? So, and please never leave Jesus in your life. When we are with Jesus, we can learn about him and we can receive his love and grace please do not leave him okay right let us pray dear heavenly father you are in control of everything in the world you do not need us i know we know but you allow us to be your child thank you for everything you have done for us dear god we really want to live as your child. So please let us know what we have to do and what we have to talk in our life. So please keep blessing each of us and keep us safe and health. And also we bring our offerings to you. So please receive them and to use your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so I brought um, so one song from the uh, this coming BBS, so title, title song, okay? So Dame's Priceless Treasure. So this BBS title is Treasured, right? Okay, let's sing and so give 
offering to God with your two hands, okay? Priceless treasure. God knows me, God hears me, God is my comfort. I am His, and there's nothing better. Forgiven and chosen forever. I am a treasure. God knows me, God hears me, God is my comfort. 